everyone, my name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we're the Star Girls. And today we have a fun furniture, fun furniture project for you. So as you guys know, tables can be very, very expensive. And if they aren't expensive, then they're usually not that cute. Mm -mm. So as you guys also know, I moved into a new place and was in need of a really cute table. So this was like the perfect combo of like things we needed and DIYs that are actually like super cute. <laughs> so we're going to show you basically how to make a sweet tabletop that's in a herringbone pattern and you can kind of do whatever legs you want but we're also going to show you what we did for that as well. So this inspo came from a Pinterest photo. I can link it below. I don't actually know where the table is from. I tried to look, trust me, because I wanted it. <laughs> I know that West Elm or like Restoration Hardware has similar things which I can link to you as well below. But most of the ones we were seeing online were like Chevron which I found out it's different than herringbone. Mm -hmm. I learned my geometric lessons <laughs> in this video. Um, Chevron lines up perfectly, herringbone's more more like puzzle piece esque. So I'm gonna link all that stuff for you below. But let's get into how we made our own. We picked up this metal table base from Ikea for only $20. The first thing we're going to do is build the base so that we know how big the table will be. For the base of the tabletop, we're using this 3 quarter inch MDF sheet. You'll want something sturdy that will be able to support the herringbone design. Lay the MDF on top of the base and trace out the exact size. This is a safe way to do it in case the base isn't perfectly rectangle. We found that with ours that afterwards, like you had to put it on the right way. Yeah. Because like it would just like slightly, slightly like not perfect. So trace it instead of like just going off of measurements. Yes. That's what you get for 20 bucks. I know, right? Oh well. Use a power saw to cut the MDF to the perfect size. For the actual tabletop, we're going to be using maple wood. This is a hard wood. It's very durable. Um, something like pine looks kind of similar, but it dents so easily. Mm -hmm. We've made a table with pine before. It's kind of a mistake, unless you really want that like dented look after a while. So this table, because of all the herringbone patterns, takes a lot of math, but we did all the math for you. So you can just listen to our beautiful description and uh, <laughs> look for more details on the blog. It took us like a couple hours to like go through this and figure it out, but we figured it out. We got you. <laughs> You're welcome guys. We do this for you. And for me. And for <laughs> Becky's table. So much, so much math. So here's what you want to do. Buy four pieces of one by four by 10 foot long maple wood. From this, cut nine 16 inch pieces nine 12 inch pieces, and 23 nine inch pieces. There is a chart on our blog which explains the best way to cut up all of your wood, linked below. Find the center of the MDF and draw a straight line down it. This will help make sure we line the pattern up straight. Slide the 12 and a half inch piece up against the bottom of the 16 inch piece to create a triangle, and make sure the inner point of the triangle lies directly against the line we drew. Use wood glue to glue these pieces to the MDF. Continue lining your 12 and a half inch pieces and your 16 inch pieces up against each other and wood glue them in place to create a triangle pattern down the center of the table. Don't worry if the pattern doesn't completely cover the top and the bottom yet, we'll be using smaller pieces to fill those in later. Now bring in all of your 9 inch pieces and fill in the sides, continuing the herringbone pattern. It's helpful to use any extra MDF you have to hold the wood up while it dries. This is really easy to do once the center is complete since everything fits together like a puzzle. Just make sure to be careful when you're lying your pieces down that you check which way the wood grain is going because it's going to affect how good the pattern looks. Once you have your full pieces in place, you'll have some small gaps around the edges, so use your extra wood to cut smaller rectangles to fill these gaps. Make sure you let your wood completely dry before moving on to the next step. Also just to note, if you don't do a table that's exactly the same size as the one we're doing, you might just have to repeat the pattern more so that it covers the size of your table. So adjust the amount of maple that you buy and the amount of size pieces that you cut, 16 inches and 12.5 inches are like the main sizes and then everything else just kind of got cut off. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing a bigger table, just keep going with 16 and 12 inch pieces. Mm -hmm. Carefully flip the tabletop over and slide one edge off of your work table. Use a circular saw to cut along the edge of the MDF, cutting off any of the excess pieces of wood that are hanging off. Make sure you're going very slow and precise with this because this is going to become the new edge of your table. Continue cutting off the rest of the jagged wood on the three sides. Now for the satisfying part, flip the table back over to reveal your herringbone tabletop pattern. Sand the entire table smooth and wipe off any sawdust. So here's where you can get really creative with stains. We're using the Minwax wood finish in Early American. We applied one layer of stain and then added a clear protective polycrylic coat. We did three coats of the polycrylic and sanded lightly in between each coat to remove brush strokes. Once the tabletop is completely dry, we can now add it to the base. 
since we're using a non-IKEA tabletop, we need to make new holes. We're using these long two and a half inch screws and we'll need to add a washer to each one so that the screw doesn't slip through the hole in the table base. Add the screw and washer combo in all six spots and your table is complete. guys didn't get lost in all that. Trust me, it's not that hard to do. We did most of the hard work for you, let's be honest, that math. Yeah, <laughs> and if you guys want more details, I feel like the blog is gonna be helpful, mm -hmm. just kind of seeing pictures and seeing all the lists of things that you need mm -hmm. um, laid out. So definitely head over to the blog to check that out if you want even more detailed instructions. Yeah, and let us know if you like these kind of bigger, more like power tools, heavy type DIYs. They're fun for us. I don't know if everyone loves them, but please let me know below. And you can definitely apply like this herringbone pattern or even just the whole tabletop idea to other things. Mm -hmm. Like imagine doing it out of like stone or something or like doing it to a coffee table instead. Mm -hmm. There's like lots of options. Or even just making your own tabletop out of whatever for a new table could be really fun. If you make something like that, send us to us on Instagram because we love seeing your creations. Hashtag Star Girl Swap. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure that you actually physically like it. <laughs> and if you love it, make sure you actually physically subscribe. <laughs> um, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye!